show you. I went to Bright Light Books and they had this Learn Japanese the Manga Way book. So I'm kind of curious if I'll be able to learn anything from it, but I bought it. It was kind of expensive for a used book. It was $13, but I went ahead and picked it up because it looks pretty fun and like, yeah. Hopefully I can read Sanrio Danshi by December. Hopefully. But anyway, so there's that. But yeah, I bought a few manga, so I wanted to show you what I got. <clears throat> so I can't remember if I updated you guys that I got these, but I got the... Someone on eBay had like, I don't know, a bulk of St. Tail manga. And obviously St. Tail is so old, it's out of print right now. So I was really happy that this seller had this. So some of them are duplicates, but now getting all of these, I have the full set of seven. So I'm so excited because St. Tail is my number one favorite manga and anime of all time. So yes, I love it so much. So yeah, I was able to get all seven. And yeah, it's just so beautiful. <laughs> but my favorite part, is this going to spoil anything for anyone? I hope not. I'm going to show you guys my favorite part. But yeah, my favorite part is where he catches her and it's like Asuka Jr. Because the whole time Asuka Jr. is trying to catch St. Tail. And she saves him and then she has to jump from the building and he catches her. So it's like he finally caught her. So, and then it's just so beautiful. He's like, just give it up and surrender to me. It's like, <laughs> so beautiful. So, yeah. I love St. Tail so much. So yeah, I forgot if I told you guys, but yeah, now I have the whole set. Yay! And then, since we're on the used book subject, I got the Full Moon Wo Saga Shite collection. And obviously, you guys know Arena Tanimura is like my favorite manga artist ever. Megumi Tashikawa is like my childhood. I loved her so much. I still love her, and St. Tail is my all time favorite manga. And I'm so sentimental towards her. But Arena Tanimura is my favorite mangaka, like, ever. Like, I feel like her art style is so beautiful, and she always talks about how hard she works to keep adding details and keep improving herself, and it shows, because every single time she comes out with a new series, she just, her artwork gets prettier and prettier. Well, I feel like Full Moon is, like, where she, like, peaked. I'm not saying she's getting worse, but I'm just, like, it's just, the artwork in Full Moon is just so beautiful. It's so, it's, like, haunting and beautiful, and it just... It's so magical that I feel like she peaked with it. So yeah, so I'm, the story of Full Moon Wasaga Shite, I have mixed feelings about. I'm not going to spoil anything, but you read it if you're interested to find out. But yeah, just like the romance plot is not what you expected. And you know, I think she just wanted to make some kind of twist. But I didn't like the twist. But I mean, I do like who she got together with, obviously. But I didn't like how it came about. Like I didn't like what happened before that. So yeah, you'll just have to find out because it was just so beautiful and then they made a twist and then it became beautiful again but you still felt mel felt mel felt melancholy. So yeah, anyway, so I got, I have, I think, yeah, I have the full set of that too because I have one and two. So yeah, now I have, the, I don't know what I have. I have the full set of Full Moon which is so exciting. So now I'm trying to get the full set of Kai Tao Jean. I'm gonna, okay, so I did say I think in previous video, I don't know, no one cares, but I guess I was gonna get the full set of Kamikaze Kai Tao Jean in the older versions, but I was new looking at the newer volumes that they're reprinting now, and they look so beautiful, and I'm like, I kind of want to support the, you know, new publications because I want them to be, keep coming out with manga, so I'm probably going to buy the newer ones, like from Barnes & Noble and stuff, because I want to support the newer Kamikaze Kai Tao Jean, but yeah, anyways, where, where was I going with this? Yeah, but I have this. <laughs> okay, so then I made a purchase from BarnesNoble.com, and since we're talking about Arena Tanamura, I got Mistress Fortune. And I've already read this story because I read it online years and years ago. But I bought this because I wanted to own the heart, the paper copy, I guess, but the physical copy. But I love this story. It's just, it's kind of weird, but like she's so madly in love with him. And he's just like a real, he acts like a really shallow jerk or whatever. But then, you know. I'm not gonna spoil anything. It's, it's a cute story. But I just like their costumes too, because they're just so whimsical. They have like these little angel wings, and it, everything is just so pretty. Like, Arena Tanamura, like, oh my gosh, her artwork is just like to die for. I just, ugh, I love her so much. So yeah, I got Mistress Fortune. I can talk. And then, okay, I haven't read this one yet. I only bought this manga because, do you see this man? Do you see this man? He's beautiful. Woo! And what's with the glove thing, okay? 
I'm reading this thing. It is, yes, I'm so excited. I'm told, I bought this just because of this beautiful dark-haired boy on the cover. But I'm excited to read it. So, I got that. <laughs> and then I got the fairy tale little shoujo spinoff because the main reason why I bought this, I'm a very visual person, I guess. I don't know what that means. But my one Japanese magazine that had a picture of fairy tale and it had like a color print and I thought it was so pretty and cute I'm like I'm gonna start buying this shoujo of fairy tale because just because of this one image was so pretty so yeah and I think the lead girl's really cute and I love her little happy-ish sidekick I don't know what the name I haven't read this one yet either but yeah I like the name the what it looks like so yes I got this one and then the last one I got I don't know who they are, who's printing this, Yen Press. Anyways, some publishing company, all I know is it's on barnesandnoble.com, is reprinting Bruins Basket! Oh my gosh, and it's like this thick Bible of Fruits Basket, and I'm so excited. It has like this cover, and it has printed illustrations. Yuki, my love. But yeah, this is so amazing, and like, ugh, I bought it right away. And they're, they have um, two and three coming out, and I almost bought two. I mean, gosh, this is like an art book and a manga combined. Like, this is so worth the purchase. I only bought the first one so far because I think number two just came out. I could have bought that one too, the second volume. But this one was only like $13.61 or something on Barnes & Noble. I was like, wow, what a good deal because like you get all these illustrations. But I think they were just doing a special, like if you pre-ordered it or something, and they're not doing the special for the other pre-orders. So it normally costs $20. So yeah, I'm going to try and buy these like once a month or once when they come out. So, and you know, stagger it that way, but yeah. So yes, anyways, that's my manga haul. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it is MegLovesCute, and my Twitter is MegLovesCute. And if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe. I post at least two to three times a week. I'm sorry it's been a while since I posted, but yeah, I'm posting two to three times a week. Promise. And I will talk to you all later. Have a sweet day. Bye!